It is time for the grand final. Newbie versus Digital Chaos. There was going to be an Observer Ward there, which one actually doesn't exist. They only have the high ground vision. Now up on top lane, Telekinesis grab. U9 pulled back in. The Rage will protect him for now. Misery glimpses him away. Try and give a little bit of space here, but the spin resolution doesn't need the tower. He may die for the cause. He's very low. Karkar's waiting. Now the Burra Strike. It will be revenge. Okay. He's got to get out of here right now. Is that TP support coming? Double TPs. The duel will begin. Is there he tanky enough? No, he's not. Moon will find the kill, but an instant bar strike from Kaka bringing in SC. They'll have an extra imprisonment. I'm dragging Resolution back. He already used his spin to help get the kill. Moon, not enough damage to find him. Kaka, no not way. enough mana. He can't borrow a strike, so we have to go back between the towers to find the other kill, which will happen on Resolution. Oh, maybe if this blink can work. Blink, crush, no spin this time from Resolution with the bar strike fall from Kaka. They get a successful kill, and this will finally allow them to remove the final T1 tower of Digital Chaos. Oh, nice pick up there with the hook. They're going to be able to get the duel on the KP, but they're still going to try and fight this. Kaka, oh. he goes in with the epicenter. They're going to try and take out these two heroes behind the tier two. Huge, absolutely huge. You're waiting for the newbie combination. With Kaka, I mean, it's, it's, oh, hook, hook. hello, hook, bar strikes, he'll connect on misery. Blink forward, actually gets a crush on the juggernaut, holds him in. The storm is in position. Rumi and he can't go anywhere. He's dueling him up, and now with the ulti, the epicenter's in there. It's huge damage from Weeha, but will it be enough? He's already lost two of his teammates, and he hasn't killed up the big one. It's SC with the double kill. And the armor's going across the board, too. Uh, blink forward, U9. Well, the duel's gonna be out. KP's in the neighborhood, tries to go for the cross. Resolution, the spin's there. Legion Commander's losing that fight. U9. He'll be crowned the winner with plus now 28 damage onto the life stealer. Open wounds. He wants his life back. He can take it from Misery if he can just reach him. But thanks to Misery, he's forced up. He's got the discipline. Oh, nice. nice. Hitting like an absolute truck. One more hit will do it, but Misery will deny himself. But on the other lines, it's Rubik who sacrifices himself to keep Nubi at bay. This last tier two is going to go down. They're going oh, to be they're able going to start to taking... bottom. We wow. are already attacking the tier three tower, and Nubi are not in the great position to try and defend this. So you bring in Kaka to start with. Uh, Pyro Strike slows down the SF. There's a lot of support behind him. The storm is beautiful. It caught resolution as well as we are there. Faith will all be triggering off the fountain. The shrine, and with the glimpse back, we are a quick blink out. Maybe misery. SC drops the hammer down. You start the duel, but you can't win that one. Now SC is going to get more damage. We'll have potential spawn time in a second as now they smoke up. It was under no vision. Legion Commander oh, breaks it. He got the duel up on the OD. Storm is down as well. We are winding up on the OD. It'll hit, but is the damage enough with Karka arriving? It actually isn't. Karka episode almost nothing. Now it's up to DC. Can they get more? No, U9 still ripping through them. We are able to get some revenge with his own double kill, but SC is slow. Omni Slash bouncing up. Karka turns in for the Burrow Strike once again. The hook is well off target, and SC can just do the work. Bring down resolution, turning its attention now towards the punch, and what do you even do is the SF? A couple Which of reasons to help out. Kaka is looking to actually find it, so Misery, he's dismembering in the mid lane, but they're gonna lose their entire team! We hard thought he was helping, and now he's pushing up the daisies! You wait for SC just to blink and initiate. BKB ready and willing. The hook will happen. The pick up on U9, but in comes SC. Moon starting up the door, but again, the storm is absolutely perfect. Moon will die. SC will stand his ground. It looks like it's hopeless now for DC, and it is. GG is the call. Newbie will take game one in this best of five grand final. It is time for game two. Newbie versus Digital Chaos. In the Naga Siren and Keeper of the late opening. Oh, they have a little crack here at Slada. As Kaka takes a lot of damage with the rib type, maybe get a little bit of space oh, to go. The range attacks. It's enough to do it, and DC will spill first blood on the safe lane. Moon Meander already doing quite well as his off lane. We're already saying DC safe lane work out pretty damn well. And then on top of that, we should have a natural win. In fact, Weehaw's going to be able to get the kill. Wow. <sighs> Wonderful under the T1 tower. Worth the sacrifice of his life. He just needs to go a little bit above that, but Weehaw's playing this position perfect. He's hugging actually close towards the, the, the ward, but now SC, you get the Searing Chains off. The pickup is there from the Rubik, create a little bit of space, but will it be enough? Weehaw with another Clap, he's almost killing the and he'll actually get the kill. The last attack is still he's dropping up the melody. He's trying to do it, and no, it isn't enough. Uh, Essie is there with the searing chains. Four versus five, uh, but I'm not sure if they're actually in the correct. neighborhood. You've got the Rubik in the neighborhood. Karka's gonna end that. Gets the sun over on Earth. The duel's gonna begin already. Paralyzing Karka made the Zipic special with the Malady. And now with a death one, the damage is huge on the DC. Did they go too early? Karka's out on 10 HP. We have to try to fight, but Essie comes down. The spirits will do the work. Song of the Siren. Hold the fun. Stop the song right okay. about now with the Illumina hitting so hard. Combining with the Fable. It's a double kill for the 
a Rubik, but it's not over yet. Misery creates a little bit of the blinding light, but it's a Rubik with a triple kill. Can he give him more KP? Starts a TP, the Illumina just missing. I like the way the DC are setting this up. The smoke is going to be able to catch Kaka. Oh, this is big. The duel, easy follow-up, easy money. And KP even tried to help out with the paralyzing cost. He might have enough. The stun is holding oh, the there. burn. He's dying at the moment. He'll TP out. Misery. A little bit second. No, the stock of the siren. Resolution walk is a little bit too far away. It opened up Newbie to attack, but he needed to, to save his... What? Is he no. Spirit jump up. He'll get the Searing Chains as well as that Spider Fist. That was the position to do it with the Waveform Force. That's a big kill for Uno. 400 gold, but we are back in again. But SC, he's got the space to escape. Resolution has a Easter, and he's just running straight into all these heroes. SC is there with the Witch Doctor. He's got his death wall, but he won't survive long enough. SC, get the hell out of Dodge. Back behind the tier 2 tower. Kaka, he's got that son of Bell. Nice, it's both crush. the Rubik as well. Snug as but you've still got maybe small spirits with Rubik to jump forward as he holds the Emperor in position, throws him down. Let's we hard get the kill. Powers and cast death wall. need a beautiful cast. Snug! It bounces back and forward. Finally, Sasuke will get further away. If he can just get the stun up, he's waiting. He's burning him down. Now the stun will hit. Weeha jumps forward. The quick revenge is out. But will it be enough? Weeha surrounded on three sides in that newbie sandwich. Support is there from the Legion Commander. No press the attack. Duel is available. KP knows it. He has to move away. Even though Moon doesn't have the blink dagger available. They need to use smokes. They need to use to catch these heroes. It's a bad habit with a blink. Oh, what a great man cross. With a spirit jump in. The damage is here. The back wall. Newbie. Energy. It's a combination. A triple kill for SC. A digital chaos. They saw it coming after they were dead. DC lineup is now split up. And that's the opening the gen so The ahead. double crush. Keeper in the light will push it back with the blinding light. Moon will break him free. And the song of the siren is used. But Weeha, who does he want? He's looking towards the Witch Doctor. Paralyzing cast got out of with the Naga illusion. He can't get away. Kaka with the extra sun. Earth of the Arrange is saving him. Not to mention Rubik. He gets the pickup. He only saw vacuum. No major big ability. And that's where Newbie will turn their attention to his SC. Get the rest of DC occupied. They move over the Rubik. Another crush keeping the illusions away. The instead a blink up from SC, he'll dodge that one, but Weeha on the front lines, looking for that kill onto the slaughter, one more attack will do it, he's burning, 73, the mana leak will get the sun and moon, one swing for the ding, and now they can take Roshan, that's the big one, they just send the illusions in, they keep the split push going, this is more of a siege than anything else. Keep the split going, let the Naga do the work. And actually, with the Keeper of Light, always oh, gonna remember, he can drag it back in to jump in. Weeha, with the stun already on the slot of the Palacing Cast, making it difficult. You've also got Ursa, hit by that Malice. Doesn't want to take too much damage. Then again, you heard that Aegis, the Immortal Song of the Siren. You're seeing Newbie trying to back up. Poor CC, if they want to commit this, go deeper inside their base. The oh, he's out got him! Weeha, you'll trigger the Aegis. So at least this means he does have the easy opening, but maybe not. Legion Commander jumps in, the sun is there, they're holding him back with the power of the cast. Oakland's doing work, Dark Seer, KP will die. The Illumina did the work, but really the cost is high for DC. We are still on the front lines, and they back it back in to the wall of waveform. U9 bringing that E Blade in, and the jump forward. Misery, no way out. Newbie, they are pushing back DC, and not just doing that, they're walking over the DC dead bodies to do so. They picked up a gem off of DC2. That was an amazing hold by newbie these guys are kings of high ground defense uh and sometimes you know risks usually mean uh, bottom lane and the spirit sc needs a little help kp said to do it with the heel oh, the cat oh, oh, the no. the cast, they can't get away the bloody light tries to create space but the shotgun is still up for u9 a click click boom and we are is gone they're chasing after misery he's on the run but he can't run too far especially when he's rooted to the ground the shopkeeper watches the kill what the is best happening in the house. I'm, I'm surprised they haven't attempted some sort of like song of the siren into like rubik duel you know they have some of these <laughs> yeah who not the place you want oh, to be the we match got oh we got him the morphling maybe he's got time he plays himself finds a little bit of strength more oh, now leading no. him out of the duel is up he's down no five man 83 what? seconds on the sideline he only just got it. Yeah. That is one lucky duck. You've also got the Agnum Scepter over. Uh oh, which stuff the Ember Spirit. Keep in mind. Ember's in trouble. Faith, he'll create a little bit of space. He's pushing it back with Paralysis and Cast. The Illusions of Naga are working against him. Illuminous Spam also now Kaka in the back. Lost in perfect time with a crush. Blinding light causing some issues for Nubi to keep the fight going. But no, the range tree actually starts attacking him. And no, he still jumps in. Gets the bounce off. The Abyssal Blade charge is still available. But U9, Waveform's out. A quick E-Blade pop. Kaka wants to make his play too. They jump forward. 
They've got the myth on him, and maybe now with KP, no Weeha, he breaks through with the BKB. This looks like Doobie were actually a pain and have to come out. They've got, got, got the door. This is the big one. This is the ball playing. Straight forward this there. Now he's down for 100 seconds. Space will join him as well. Song of the Siren from Resolution allows him to set up the Ember Spirit. He's the next big one. He's the control factor. A Fist of Blade charges up. They just find a fist and then the Spirit away. Moon actually gets shredded. DC are retreating for the moment. But it's the chip game. They still want the better opening. The slide of fist is causing issues. Resolution has that song of the siren available. Weeha looks at the opening. Over was Faith once again. A quick Yule Scepter. That's the one from Kaka. Keeping Weeha out of play with the BKB. He's moving forward, looking for the kills. The Paralyzing Cars bouncing up. That's the Rubik one's on. The Dark Deer back wall. It doesn't work. Dark Deer's got some space to get out of here. But the song of the siren. We hold it. 15 seconds till Morphling is up. And DC are using it to retreat. Like, use the Blink Dagger. Use KP to get that initiation, but now as the bottom lane is being attacked, the illusion push out the top, and it's Weeha jumping in right on top of that melee rack. He doesn't actually get hit by the Maledict, and they try and keep the distance, but the top top rack, the illusions are still up. They bring down the range, but Weeha attacking the bottom. Here we go again. You also drop from Kaka. He wants the crunch. He got the the top lane. Ember Spirit down. They may have another one with Ember Spirit down. He'll buy back to jump into this fight. Moon Knight, very low amount of wave falls forward. He gets actually almost out of range. Yeah, he does. Off the Song of the Siren face on a bee stick of life. Also retreating out. The Illusions is still attacking all the lanes of Rax. Weeha will wait the tree line. Wave falls forward. Can they kill him off? That's a big one. The Aegis will pop. The help is there. Misery to Luma is going to hit pretty hard on the KP. And Weeha, John Sport, looking for the fast target. He's luck, but they almost have it. The sun out from the Mana League. KP is going to go down. He has buyback and bubble. We use it straight away, but the Rax, they are still dying. Not to mention Faith. He's trying to hold the top lane. SC doing his work to help out. Resolution's retreating with the illusions. They are just too strong. You can't repel cheese power of this magnitude. There's no way to really. Another little bit. They jump back in. Maybe now with the back. Wall. They can't actually hold this top rack. It's the last thing. The melee rack. Every second is down. The Nemesis is in trouble. The Illumina hit. He's down. Two minutes. It looks like newbie. The back will be broken. Resolution. Set up the fight with the ensnare on face. Which Doctor is held in position. They jump forward. The head is there. Weeha picking up the back line. Rubik will buy back into the game. The new nine. He's out. It's GG. They got nothing more in the tank. We are at least going to have a game for us. DC levels the series. 1-1. One, one. What a crazy series it's been.